Hey everybody, it's Katie Chu here, and today we're gonna have a little chibi tutorial, which is something I've wanted to do for a while, ever since I learned how to draw chibis. And so I'm gonna show you a little bit of my own chibi style, but first of all, I would like to say that there's no right or wrong with chibi. It's a very stylized way of drawing, so you can have all of the creative freedom you want. I'm just showing how I personally draw them and giving you a little bit of advice in that matter. So I have selected a few of my chibi drawings here. I've made all of them this year. It's 2019, right? And I would like to show you guys a little bit of how they are different from each other but how they can all work depending on what you're going, with, going for with your chibis. So first of all, this one drawing is a commission that I made. You can see that in this case we have a very big head but a medium body, uh, thick legs and small feet. So we have small feet, we have thick legs, we have a big head, which is basically the same size as the body, a little bit smaller, very round eyes, and a very, very round proportions in general. Here for the second one, we have an even bigger head. You can see that her head is pretty much the same size as her body, perhaps a little bit bigger even. Even smaller feet, very simple hands, and the proportion of the legs, in this case from the hip from her waist, is a lot smaller. Uh, in this case, we have a bigger body. You can see that the proportion from her head is a lot smaller than her body. We have bigger hands and feet and perhaps a more mature face. This is a more blobby style, sort of. You can see that the anatomy is a little wonky on purpose, so the legs are very straight. Her face, her facial expression is very cartoony. The hands are super simple and the level of detail in general is very low. Here in the middle we have the huge head, tiny body, not even on like length wise, you can see the head is a lot bigger, but uh, width wise the head is also a lot bigger and the expression is also very cartoony but the level of detail is bigger and here we also have a mature sort of style where the body is not as curvy the legs are not as thick and the hands are not as small the feet are not as small and she even has ears so now i'm going to explain a little bit of how having these different sort of details work on the overall perception of the chibi and depending on your objective, which one I would advise you to choose. Now we're going to start talking a little bit about body and head proportions. So I'm going to lower the opacity here so you guys can see a little bit better. So first of all, the size of the body compares to the size of the head, it, it's kind of like a cuteness level. You can also, of course, make a super cute drawing where the body is pretty much the same size, like the correct human body size, but if you want your chibi to look super super cute, it's very interesting to have a bigger head. In this case, you can see that pretty much all of my chibis have thick legs, this one is probably the one that has, and this one also, it has the least thick legs, but most of them have this kind of body where the hip proportion is a lot bigger than the upper body proportion. So most of them are shaped kind of like this, and they have thick 
legs and small feet. This looks a little wonky, but it's pretty much this and this compared to the upper body, which is pretty small. Now, for the hand size, you can see, for example, in this example, the hand size is a lot smaller than in this example. And you can also notice that because of the size of the hand here, she looks a lot more mature. So emphasizing the size of the hand and the feet may make your chibi look more mature because it will look closer to reality and more stylized. So you cannot achieve that level of super duper cuteness which comes with a super stylized chibi because you're making more realistic proportions. You can see that in this example, which has like super tiny feet, super tiny hands, it's like very kawaii. In this example, which is super stylized, you can also see that the hands are very simple. In this example, she doesn't even have fingers, but it was just a choice because she's Isabel from Animal Crossing. So yeah, the size of the hand and the level of detail on the hands and feet they may, may, may make your chibi look a little bit more mature. Now for the level of ana anatomy, anatomy detail, <laughs> sorry, I cannot speak. They may not interfere as much on the cuteness level of your chibi, but they will interfere in how stylized your chibi is. So in this example, which is the most stylized one, you can see that I have not given her any leg detail. So instead of the leg being like this, so you have the knee, you have the, I don't know the name of the thing, and then you have the feet, I have given her this little blob of a leg, which was on purpose so she will look more stylized and simpler and I can give her some sort of comical vibe. In the, the other ones, I have chosen to do a little more leg detail. Depending on the size of her feet, it may be something like this or something like this. It really depends on how you've chosen to do her feet. So. You can choose to do whatever you want, the effect will be different, but it really depends on your objective. You can see that all of these chibis are very cute in their own way, but they have, sort of have a different vibe depending on the elements I have chosen to use. Now for facial features, I have something that I usually do, which is having very round eyes. So for example, if you're going to draw a more sharp eye, so you're going to do something like this, for example, you have some very sharp eyes, it's not going to look as cute as if you have very round eyes. You can see that the effect is very different. So here you have more mature adult, and here you have cute child. Okay, so in pretty much all of these chibis I have very round facial features. But something that I see interferes with the cuteness level is how close your eyes are to the nose and to the mouth. So, you're going to see a little bit of an example here. So, I have the eyes. I'm going to draw quick little eyes for you guys. Please don't mind if they're super ugly. So, here are some random eyes. If I have the nose here and then the mouth here, you can see these are regular facial proportions. But if I take this nose and mouth and I put them closer to the eye, you can see that it looks cuter and more childish in a way. So for example here, in this first chibi, you can see that the distance between her nose and her eyes, I'm gonna measure by the pupils, is pretty, pretty minimal, to be honest. In this case, it's also pretty minimal. You can see it's like super duper close. In this case though, you see it's a bigger distance between the eyes and the nose. 
this chibi. As you can see, I chose different elements that made her look a lot more mature, such as I, ha as I have already explained. The hands, the feet, and now the distance between her nose and her eyes. Here we have the exact same case. You can see her pupil and her nose. It's a pretty big distance. Here, she barely has a nose, but yeah, it's also a very, very minimal distance. And in this case, it's also a bigger distance. You can see by comparison that the chibis that have the eyes closer to the nose are the, the ones that have the more cutesy vibe. So I think it is very interesting if you want to make like a super kawaii chibi to try to have the eyes as close to the nose as you can. It's not having the nose like between the eyes because that's gonna look a little weird in my opinion, but uh, as long as it doesn't look super exaggerated, you can have them as close as you can. And I also can tell you guys that the distance between the mouth and the nose is also important. So you see here, the mouth is pretty close to the nose, closer than, even here, right? Closer than you would usually choose. Here is a little more distance, but she also has a more mature vibe. So I like to have the mouth pretty close to the nose, so it will look very cute. I also never fail to add the little blushy on their cheeks. Last but not least on facial proportions is her face. Okay, so when I take a more, yeah, some sort of more mature drawing, which isn't a chibi, I would usually draw the face something like this. Right, so we have, here is the neck, the eyes, yay! Okay, so here is the forehead, the cheek, the chin, the jawline, here are the ears, and here are, here's the neck. So this would be some, for some sort of normal drawing. Now for the chibi drawing, I would usually go for something like this. I'm gonna have a bigger forehead, Small is a small in height, but it's a small it's not small in size. So very round cheeks. The chin is very round also, and the jawline is barely visible. So here you can see that the jawline is very angular, and here you barely have a jawline. The neck is going to be a lot smaller, and then the facial features. Yay! Oh my god, this looks awful, Jesus Christ. And this looks a lot better, right? <laughs> anyway, so big forehead, small but round cheeks, barely any chin, and very round jawline. These are the elements I usually use for a chibi head. So now I have explained most of the elements I usually go for when I'm drawing chibis. I'm going to try and draw a little chibi sketch for you guys to see me applying all of these elements. I'm going to choose my favorites because even though I'm able to draw in many of these elements, I have a favorite. So I'm just going to demonstrate a little bit, but since I'm under pressure, don't expect like the cutest chibi ever, okay? Yeah, please. Okay, so I'm going to start with a fairly thick watercolor brush. I'm going to start with the head. So we have the big forehead, the round cheeks, the barely visible chin, and the round jawline. I'm going to go with, for the neck I usually do it on the same size of the chin. So it's not too thick, but it's not too small. When I'm drawing girls, I give them like cute, small and round boobs. Uh, the hip is pretty uh, wide and then I have the thick thighs and the tiny feet. 
This is my go-to combo for chibis. I usually give them fairly small and cute hands. I don't go really overboard with the hands. And thicker arms because I think it's pretty delicate and cute when I give them thick arms. I don't know why. It's just really, it's just my style, whatever. Okay, so this is pretty much how the body is gonna look like. Now for the face, I'm going to do some of the elements I talked about. So I'm gonna start with the nose here. I'm going to draw cute little round eyes right here. Here. It's gonna look ugly because I'm under pressure. Just saying. So, cute little round eyes. I also have round eyebrows most of the time because I think it's super cute. I give them eyelashes usually, but it's not really mandatory. And I have the mouth being super round, close to the nose and I usually really prioritize round features when dealing with chibis because I think it's what makes them <laughs> the cutest. So, I can lower the eyes and make this chibi look even more absurdly cute, which is what I usually like to do. So if her pupils are here, for example, you can see that the distance between the pupils and the nose is pretty small. I'm going to add some blush to her and now just some clothing and, and hair so that she will look a little bit more complete. I'm gonna draw Katie, which is my OC, just so you guys can see a little bit of the hair proportions and all that. So, this is Katie's hair. She's got super wavy, long hair and all that. So the whole objective of this thing is make is making normal sized things such as a normal sized bow or a normal sized horn make a lot bigger because her head is already so big so I make everything else look bigger and her little clothes which is an overall got a little t-shirt here, overalls, thigh highs, and the tiny shoes. Then I'm going to erase the rest of the head. I usually draw the head first because I really like to see where the head is going to be and all that before I finish drawing everything because I feel like it gives me I don't know, it just makes it easier to draw everything else when I start by the head okay so this is a little tiny simple chibi just to show you a little bit on how I work the proportions I really hope this video was helpful and that you guys have enjoyed it so yeah Thank you so much for watching, please let me know if you like it, if there's anything else you would like me to cover on this topic. And thank you so much, don't forget to like and subscribe, it really means a lot to me and allows me to continue doing tutorials and other videos. Thank you!